so we had a fantastic day at Blue Lagoon. Highly, highly, highly recommend. We got checked into our hotel, which is Exeter. We're only going to be staying there for one night. Um, I think I told you already, my friend leaves tomorrow, so we're going to switch hotels for the remaining two nights after tonight. Um, so now we are in downtown Reykjavik. We are actually checking out a local food hall. So they have all of a different, you know, food options here. So we are going to go eat. I tried their burger of the month. That was one of the ones that they recommended. And it's like some Icelandic like burger or something like that. So I'll definitely show you guys what it looks like. All right, mine is ready y'all. And this is the spot. Food was really good. We are actually just walking back to the car, and right next to the car, we actually parked next to like a um, souvenir shop. So we're actually gonna stop there before they close, and then we're gonna head back to the hotel because we do have a um, Northern Lights tour this evening. So we're gonna go back to the hotel, um, get ourselves ready for that. But before that. Let's do some souvenir shopping. And I'll see if I, I probably will just get a few things. You guys know that I don't really do too, too much um, souvenir shopping, but I do get myself something, but so yeah, we'll see. Yeah. More shopping like one of the other days, probably like our last day, but I'm definitely going to get this today. We are out here chasing the modern lights tonight, so it's gonna be a long night, and we're gonna see how strong it is. We're crossing our fingers that we will be able to see it with our eyes. <sighs> but it's not that cold today, so that's a good thing for us that it's not freezing outside. My guys, another day in Iceland. So let me catch y'all up from last night. So we did a Northern Lights tour um, and the aurora wasn't as strong where we could see a lot of it like super bright with our natural eye but we still were able to get like our professional photos that did have the Northern Lights showing up in it. So we are going to still you know try to see if we could see it on our own um, like tonight but it's super cloudy um, these last like two days or so so we have no idea obviously it's just a natural current so we'll see if we get lucky to see it more like you know brighter with our um naked eye it offer like blankets hot chocolate and again like professional photos so i did think that you know that was a really good like experience we had to go to like a specific bus stop for them to like pick us up so they kind of like drive around the city to the different bus stops where you know um the guests would be staying ours was like probably about like a six minute walk from our hotel there was one that was right across from our hotel and that's what we picked for us but they ended up changing our stop so we just had to walk like a little bit which was it was a good walk because last night honestly was not like freezing freezing cold so then today did breakfast downstairs at the hotel it was included and now we are on for more adventure so i'll touch base with you guys once we get there hi y'all so we had a whole day planned to explore another area in iceland but actually when we left the weather conditions were like fine like it was okay but as we were about probably between like 50 minutes to like an hour or so into the drive we were getting some really really strong wind it was like the vehicle was actually like you know moving um and you could definitely feel it so we decided to just be safe that we were not going to continue the drive because we were still like an hour and a half out from where we were going to be exploring and then once i checked the safe travel um iceland app the weather conditions did change because i did check them before we left the city 
but they did change and it was just kind of giving us like some high alerts in the area it does suck that our plans change but i'd rather be safe than sorry i'm definitely glad that we got to really explore you know the southern side of the country and did a lot of the nature things in the beginning of our trip because now the weather um you know just kind of put a wrench in today's plans but i think we're gonna just relax in the hotel for a little bit and maybe if we feel like going out somewhere to eat and things like that it is a little colder as well today i guess just due to the weather um but yeah so we'll see what we get into and i will touch base with you guys whenever i have an update yeah, we're back outside trying to get some food and we are going to check out the Reykjavik fish restaurant and the wind is strong even here in the city we were just there ready to get blown <laughs> but we are literally pulling up now i'm ready to get some soup today i don't know but we'll see some nice hot bread mm -hmm. and it's actually really good they have a lot of meat in it so they did say lots of fish it's good let me show you how was actually really good um the fish soup was very very tasty i'm actually here in like a corner store um i just want to get some water and then probably like one or two little snacks um we are winding down our trip so i'm not gonna get like a bunch of stuff but this have it's kind of like a little supermarket um but yeah so that's what i'm doing right now Alright, so as you guys know, we had a whole change of plans for today, but that's not going to stop, you know, us trying to find something to do to explore. So we actually was trying to do the lava show when we were in Vic, but by the time we tried to get tickets, it was already sold out. And the lucky thing is that there is one in Reykjavik, so we are actually going to do the lava show, which is something that's indoors because obviously, as I said, it is cold today, windy um, as well. So we're going to be in side at least doing um today's activity and we're all you know full from our food that we ate so yeah let's get into it okay and so we were able to just buy tickets for today's show um right here as i said you could pre-book online i think the one in vic has like um maybe more popularity so that's why those got booked out really fast because that's like the original location of the lava show but we were able to purchase our so the total was 5,900 kronas um and i gotta check to see how much it was in usd but you could definitely use the currency conversion app to get an idea of what it costs so here's all the show times and the prices that you guys can see so we got the um the standard package Can you hear me clearly? Yes. Perfect. Welcome to Lava Show. The first and only show in the world where you can actually experience molten flowing lava indoors. Mm -hmm. My name is Julius. <laughs> I'm one of the founders. Well, the founder is my wife. He is melting the lava today. Volcano systems, of which 19 have erupted since the settlement of Iceland over 1,000 years ago. There are two main reasons why Iceland has so much volcanic activity. First, Iceland is sitting right on top of a powerful mantle plume that continuously pushes magma towards the surface in violent explosions that fractures the lava into superfine particles that rise high into the air and can ignite the engines of airplanes. And now you will feel the heat of real molten lava and see how incredibly bright it is. Mm. I'm not able to 
crystallize. And like when lava becomes a rock, it's crystallized lava. When lava cools down fast, it becomes volcanic glass, like similar to obsidian or dragon glass if you watch Game of Thrones. So if you're lucky, some of the steam of the ice is going to force its way into the lava. Wow. Rising in the room. And I got a really good question from a like, seven-year-old girl. She asked me, why does lava shine? Why does it so bright? And the, the simple answer is just like, it's really hot. It uh -huh. doesn't really explain why lava shines. The results is with 1,200 Fahrenheit. Lava, when it's solidified, is under 900 degrees. For sure. Yeah, he's he's good, good, very informative, he's very knowledgeable. Very. And he's one of the um, co-founders oh, yes. with his wife. Alongside his wife, yes. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Yeah, we could still feel the heat in her. Yeah. Like, we don't hear no, and we could still feel the heat. Like, it was good, it was Did good. You know, a very well. a very <laughs> unique experience, yes. too. Cause, like, and it's worth the money. Especially. Like, where are you going? We didn't get that for real, though. It's only one place in the world. Only one place in the world. <laughs> and that's Iceland. <laughs> putting it on and breaking a neck, uh, but once I, I... I got snow cones, man. I love snow cones, ice cream cones. Oh! And, um, oh, I see it up there, Oreo. yeah. Mm -hmm. What we call Oreo Cheap treat or something. Cream. It's probably this where they got blow up, eh? Yeah, yeah where we, we're going home and we just see this fast food place, we see people driving through, so I like, I don't want to go. <laughs> Because this is the first time, like, I see since we've been here, like, a drive through place, especially that's not like an American chain. Because we did see a few like American chain places, like Taco Bell, KFC. Uh, what else we have seen? Oh, yes, yeah, Subway. But, like, yeah, I'm assuming that maybe Taco Bell and them would be drive through. Um, but yeah, so now we just pull up to my name again, Act Two Tac Two. There's gotta be some local place. This is what I'm thinking, but yeah, cool stuff. <laughs> multiple windows. Raspberry, uh -huh. ananas, and then uh, citron. I'll try the strawberry shake. You want a small or a large one? The little. Huh. Little? Little. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anything else? No. I got my strawberry shake. The girls ordered something too. So it's going to be our dessert. It's cold, but that's okay. We're going in the room. <laughs> Time for the taste test. Mmm. It's a good one. Mm hmm. It's a good shake. Just wrapped up the amazing, amazing food tour experience, y'all, and 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Now we're gonna just spend the rest of the afternoon exploring the rest of Reykjavik. It's our last day, so we are going to be going to one of the churches, and I do not want to mispronounce the name, that's one of the had ones, but um, it's right near where we ended um, our food walk tour, which we were gonna do the church, go back to Rainbow Street, because we passed it walking up this way, um, and I think like one more stop and we're gonna try to go to the bank because honestly Iceland is so like tech driven we've just been using cards the whole time no cash at all to be honest like unless you wanted to like tip so the elevator actually goes up to the eighth floor and then there's like couple flights of stairs that you have to walk up to actually get to see the whole 360 view of the city y'all so cute so you can go around and then get on your stools wow Finally 
I got some Corona, y'all. I just gave them US so I could get these back for my keepsake. Y'all know I collect my currency. Oh, this is a 500. Cool. Made it to the famous Rainbow Street. Gonna get some pictures and some videos. As you can see, the church is right in the background. Because we want to go back and check with you, we can see True, happy. true, true. Hi, y'all. Hi. I am back. I couldn't vlog. It was dark. We actually went out to see the Nolan Lights since it's our last night. And we saw them much better than our tour. And we went out on our own. How are you feeling after seeing the Nolan Lights? Amazing. Like Amazing. So surreal. Correct. You know, after so long. We're on a tour, Fine, you didn't get to see it. it. Yes. Like, it was not yes. as how on our tour, it was not like Less, what we see tonight. Lucky. We were just Less. out there, just like, it keep changing. Yes. It was moving. Oh my God. <laughs> and of course, I don't have the right equipment to like video and do all that stuff to show y'all. But I'll drop in a picture so you guys can see. But this was the perfect way to end our Iceland trip. <sighs> I am happy bucket list checked see y'all in the morning bye good morning y'all i just dropped off the car rental now it's time to head to the airport and i am going to close out the iceland vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it the shuttle just arrived and i'm out peace